An evening of socializing among a pair of friends who also happen to work with each other has ended with the murder of 38-year-old Marlon Peters. The incident in Santa Elena town flew quietly below the radar when it failed to meet the police blotter on July 14th. Peters and a colleague of his identified as Errol Smith were both drinking together when they reportedly got into an altercation in front of a residence. The physical attack left Peters severely injured after being beaten to a bloody pulp. On Friday, the 14th day of July 2017, at 4.55 p.m., based on information received, San Ignacio police visited a driveway on Maxi Street in Santa Elena Town. There, the officers saw a male person who was identified to be Marlon Peters, 38 years Belizean truck driver of number 46, Pere Street, in Santa Elena Town, lying down on the driveway, um, suffering from severe bruises to his face and his head. Investigation revealed that Peters and Errol Smith had an argument and began to wrestle. Peters fell and was thus severely punched and kicked by Smith to his face and head and subsequently went unconscious. Peters was transported to the San Ignacio Town Community Hospital. On the same day, he was further transported to the Carlucian Memorial Hospital for further treatment. Peters remained bedridden at the KHMH for a week before succumbing to his injuries on Saturday morning. His attacker was detained at the outset, but was subsequently released from police custody without being charged. Earl Smith was initially detained, however, he was released uh, because we have not received uh, a statement from Peters. On a Saturday, the 22nd of July uh, 2017, at about 5.10 a.m., San Ignacio police were informed that Marlon Peters had passed away at the KHMH at about 3.37 a.m. that morning. Statements were recorded from witnesses. The scene was processed. Uh, Post-mortem is underway at this time. Um, the suspect, Marlon, suspect, sorry, is Errol Smith, uh, was brought in to the station this morning by his attorney. He is currently in custody. The violent dust-up that ended with Peters losing his life has shocked friends and relatives who remember him as someone that was extremely family-oriented. To hear about something so senseless like this happening to our brother, it's unbelievable. You know, it's like it's so real, like, like even the atmosphere, the air, nothing feels the same, you know, without Marlon here. You know, and it's really a loss for us. But we are praying and hoping that our God, we are a family of God and that our God, the God that we serve, will of course find that justice and give us that peace in our hearts. And so we would just want to say that Marlon, our very, very, very own, we will definitely, surely miss him. Errol Smith remains in lockup at the San Ignacio Police Station. Charges have not been preferred pending the outcome of an autopsy, as well as instructions from the Director of Public Prosecutions. We are awaiting the result of the post-mortem examination um, um, believe by it. and uh, we will forward the statements that we have thus far to the office of the DPP for a directive. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kertano.